Hello there, Internet. My name is White Dragons, and welcome back to Minecraft Let's Play. The Minecraft Let's Play that you're going to be witnessing in this series is going to be part of the Nevermind mod. Excuse me, real quick. Real quick. I got a cough. There we go. And it also has a lot more in store, so we won't get too complicated into it, but I want to go ahead and give you the seed that I'll be using and I will try my best to put a description of all the mods down below if I don't do it on the first or second or third or fourth episode it'll get done it's a lot of mods so um, we have allow cheats on because I need to do a, a game rule um, and I have the bonus chest on and I want to put it on but I kinda don't um, for purposes of the Nevermind mod um, I'm gonna turn it off all right so we've got that we've got that okay we're all done right okay ready set go okay so in the Nevermind mod mobs spawn in light lower than level 11 and below so what that means is is that mobs will constantly be spawning during the day and the night cycle so you're going to have a big problem there we're just going to hold off and let everything load up don't worry about these uh, items here that are not up to date i will bring them up to date um as soon as i can do research and make sure that they don't conflict with each other so Let's talk about the mobs, the mods that are going to be in here. So we have Advanced Genetics, Advanced uh, Advent of the Ascension, which is the Nevermind mod, Archimedes Ship, Backpacks, Bibbles, Bibliocraft, Chisel, Custom NPC, Dense Ores, Enchanting Plus, Ender IO, Extra Utilities, Extra uh, Extraction Two, Forge Micro Micro Blocks, Gravestone, Instant Magical Structures mod. We also have I just lost my place. Let me move it up a little bit. There we go. Um, we also have... Oh my god, I've lost my place. There we go. Instant House. We have Jabba. We have Man Mantle. We have Mine and Blade Battle Gear 2. We have, of course, Minecraft. We have Minecraft Comes Alive. Mine Factory Reloaded. Monster Girl. Mr. Crayfishes. My Fit. Mystic Craft. Whew, whole bunch of them. Uh, new dungeons, open blocks, or regen. Uh, this one will probably be taken out. To be honest with you, I was gonna try to like have like a system where we could buy or an ore regen and then um, just be able to have it constantly. But it's not working out the way I wanted to, so I'm probably gonna chunk it. Uh, Pam's Harvest, Super Project Superhuman, awesome. Random things, runic dungeons, so much armor, TF2 dispenser, TF2 teleporter, the Twilight Forest, last night, thermal expansion, thermal foundation, Tinker's construct, Tinker's defense, random thing, oh, um, Tinker's mechanics, wireless redstone, and yet another smelting. So that's everything there. Now, uh, we also have the better villagers mod, which will produce villages in random places. The one thing I have to warn you is that, and I'll show you so you can understand why. I currently had to put this on peaceful. No, it's on hard, okay. Huh. Oh, there we go. Mobs are spawning. See them? Now they're disappearing. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. Oh, there we go. See them? They're starting to spawn now. Let's see if we can sneak up on one and try. Oh, there's already Minecraft villagers too. This guy's got 25. Nope, 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 nope. Done. Goodbye. <sighs> okay. They are really hard to kill. Okay, we have a fisherman and we have a Fletcher, who is not married yet. We can interact and we'll chat. An apple a day keeps the zombie away. That's correct. Internet. Interact and chat. Man, cookies and milk does sound good. So we're gonna have these guys follow us. Oh. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh my god. I am so sorry. There's no way to follow up, guys. You should be thrown in a dungeon. I know. You are so right. Shortcut keys suck. Okay. I'm sorry. Follow me. I, I thought I had had you clicked. My apologies. Uh, so there is a dungeon over here. And I did start the world up at one time. And it didn't work out too well for me. Uh, because... I kind of placed us in a bad position, and I don't want to do that again. 
So, see, I, I was going to put us over there, but there's no trees over there, so I would have to basically fight monsters to get to a good location. This might be the ideal location. Get out of my face. Is there a guard? What the hell? Already a guard. Um... Yeah, this might be the ideal location. Uh, my map's not the best mini-map. We may redo the map structure. Why are you looking at me so much? This could be ideal spot, maybe? Maybe? Let's take a look over here. Because essentially what we're doing with this mod pack is we are going to create a village of our own. A metropolis, as, as some would say, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have a family. We're gonna live in all that stuff. Yeah, that's right. I said all that stuff. I know. I think there's map. Oh, you almost got hit again. This chicken likes being abused. Good God. There's also a village over here. Maybe. Well, in the last playthrough, there was a village. I'm kind of might be dropping off the fishermen. There is no village. Huh, okay. Alright, so we're on our own. <gasps> Ooh, this looks good. Okay. Hmm. Problem is, is land. Land is not flat at all around here. That's kind of poopy. Real poopy. Hmm, there are trees. We do need trees, folks. We do need trees in that dungeon. Let's take a look at that dungeon real quick. Perhaps, perhaps, we can get something out of that. What I'd like to do is I'd like to station myself near a dungeon. Uh, because of the mere fact... Wow, that's really... Please stop getting in front of me. Please. I'm asking nicely here. I really am. Hey, good to see you. You're still following me. Rachel the guard. Yeah, Rachel the guard. Uh, okay. Alright, what do we got here? We've got a flooded ruined dungeon with a skeleton spawner on top. Now remember, we're in, cur we're in peaceful mode. So this will not spawn any skeletons because we're being near it. Mmm... -hmm. I tell you, uh, let's do this. How much more daylight do we have? A half. We mm, we got some time. Let's um. Let's station these guys here for now. Stay here. Stay here. Oh, I lost my hearts with you. I'm so sorry. You know you're not that cool. Okay, you know what? Shut up. Stay here. All right. Let's uh. We're gonna. I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We've got. We've got plenty of time, and when I started my first video of this, because I've done this th three times, um, I, uh, I built, and then I had difficulty getting to the trees, and then I built a little closer inland, and I still had problems getting to the trees. So here's what I'm thinking, is that we will go ahead and leave them there. We'll grab some trees, and then uh, we'll go into what this crystal ball is, that's in my hand, um, because, well, um, Minecraft Comes Alive had a, a, a good chunk update, a, a chunk update, a good update, and, um, and, uh, I like it, I like what they, I like what they've done, uh, so this is a rubber tree, we need rubber for Mine Factory Reloaded, and, uh, for, um, uh, thermal expansion, so we're definitely gonna need that. Getting wood. <laughs> Not funny at all. Uh, so let me talk to you about what is on our top right. On our top right is the Nevermind mod. Um, it can. We have a temperature gauge. We have. Um, I need oak. Oak's, oak's the fastest wood. I know that grows. Um, we have. Uh, we have a temperature gauge, and when we do certain things that next gauge 
uh, uh, to the right of the temperature gauge will give uh, will show us a progressional buff that we'll get from the gods. Uh, the next thing, next three are involving um, are involving. I'm gonna kill me a chihuahua. I'm gonna get, uh, hold on real quick. Okay. Um, sorry about that. But those those three right there, I didn't think you wanted to hear a dog barking. Um, those three right, the three that we were, I'm talking about are for generating um, portals. I think that's what it is. I think it's to help generate portals for the Nevermind mod. The Nevermind mod wiki doesn't have a good chunk of information. It has some information, but not a good chunk of it. So... Um, it's going to be kind of like going by the fly, trying to figure out what exactly, um, what exactly we're supposed to be doing here with the Nevermind mod. Is this growed? No, this is not, because we just started the world. Why, why would it be grown? You just started the world. Alright, we're going to get this last tree, and then we're going to call it. <clears throat> because, uh, in peaceful mode, I only allow myself one night in peaceful mode so getting everything established getting everything set up and then cranking out and turning on hard mode to uh, allow the mobs to spawn in is uh, kinda what my deal is so if it seems like you know oh white you're cheating you're using peaceful mode um, I've played this mod for a little while and there is no um, that's the sound that night started. There is no um there is no peacefulness. You don't you don't get a chance to breathe sometimes. And um when I created the mod pack, by the way, this is a private mod pack. It is not a mod pack you'll find on the Feed the Beast launcher or Tech It or anything like that, so don't try to go looking for it if you're looking for it. Um But what I did was is I decided, okay, I would make um a mod pack that is difficult and hard at the same time. And what I mean by that is, is I make I want to make a mod pack that you helps me and then hurts me, helps me and then hurts me, helps me and then hurts me. So that's what I did. I made a mod pack that helps me and hurts me, hates you know, loves me, hates me, loves me, hates me. Best way to say it. But the only thing I couldn't do is get rid of the constant mob spawnage you'll go through. Um, with uh, how many how many of these I got four of those. Let's see, move that there. Do some organization real quick. So we got one birch, we got nine oak, and we got four. That's good. I can live with that. I can live with that. So we're gonna go back, and then this is a perfect time, I guess, to uh, talk about Ooh, Minecraft comes alive. Uh, Minecraft comes alive. This crystal ball here is going to be how you're going to set up your um. Uh, who you are in in mine in the minecraft comes alive mod um and essentially uh it's also going to uh do a couple things for you as well you can set you up for uh for a living area it can set you up for a village area and it can also set you up for um if you just don't care kind of deal uh, so we'll see we'll see so our uh, minecraft villagers did stay put and the guards there just in case something should spawn which I doubt something will um, and um, this time I think this would be a better location now than what I had before there is a village over there look at that huh I guess I couldn't see it is that a tower it looks like a tower huh interesting wait is that a well that's the dungeon okay all right so what do we got over here? Okay, we got nice water area. Mountains over there. That looks like another village. Um, I also have Archimedes ship, which is going to be a very cool mod. And what it does is it actually allows us to um, pick all this up. Allows us to create boats and to have boats that can float. 
So that's pretty cool. You know. Whoa, what the hell was that? Did you see that on my screen? No? Okay. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I would put it, like, right there, but that's gonna be a big issue later on. Uh, so I guess... I guess we'll do it right here? Yeah, we'll probably do it right here. It's probably safer. Let's see, let's get some... Get some baggage. We'll do it right about... Let's see... Right about here would be a good spot. And you'll understand why, what I'm doing here in just a second. Alright, so, uh, when you use Minecraft Comes Alive mod, just take the crystal ball and right-click it. This is impenetrable. You cannot get out of it. You, can, you can't even break anything. It just instantly comes back, see? Okay, so you can't live here. Whoa, that's actually got... Bedrock, huh? Go figure. So we're gonna right-click on this, and this is where everything gets set up. I would advise that if you are using this mod, you are using the Minecraft Comes Alive mod, try to do a Patreon to them, because they're they're, you know, a lot of these mod mod designer mod pack designers or mod designers, they um, they do this for free, and it's really cool. So you know, give them a heads up. By the way, if you look down at the bottom right you'll see that that square space that's pretty much the size of the of the structure so uh, right here so it's a good variance to see where where you're gonna be standing so okay let's start off I am male go figure I do like females this is my name and here are the four options you have one you say I can have a, I have a family it will spawn a wife and a don't know if it spawns a baby or not. I can't remember. Uh, you can say I live alone, and it'll spawn a structure, a one, a a house for you. By the way, it will also build a house will be for your family as well. I live in a village. It will literally spawn a village for you, or you can say none of these, and it will go. You will be blank now because of the fact this mod pack gets rough. I'm going to choose I live alone. And what will you get? Well, you will get yourself a home, a free home at that. So I thought that was I think that's pretty nice. Uh, now, if you notice on the bottom left, there is uh, a well, it went away. Let's see if we can do it again. See, so it says I'm you are getting cold. Um, that's the temperature gauge up to the bottom, up to the top right. See the little red line? How it goes up and down? How it's going up and then stopping? There you go. See, it just moved. That's the temperature. You, if you stand on a torch, it will give you a little heat. There is a campfire that we can make, but we can't make it right now because we don't have flint. Um, that will allow you to warm up. So we're just going to stand here just for a few more minutes, and um, then we'll go. We'll, I'll, uh, we'll explore real quick. Uh, there's also an, I also need to make a pickaxe. Uh, so. Uh, let's do everything upstairs for now because it's safe upstairs for now. I say that with unfleefully, unleafly glee. That's the word. All right. I'm also in this on this series. I'm also trying to go looking into maybe doing stuff like um, achievements and stuff like that. So it should be pretty interesting. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make myself a wooden pickaxe now. I have not changed any of the recipes in the mods in the mods. So some mods will conflict with other mods, okay? So if they do, there there is a way around them, but <clears throat> I'm trying my best not to not to use them. Uh, so we need to break this off because unfortunately this obstructs our bed. And uh, you know, as much as I would like to like to have it there uh, it obstructs our bed so we can't really do anything about that uh, when I first started playing this mod pack it literally beat my ass up real hard because um, the mere fact that I couldn't fi I couldn't figure out why my bed was being obstructed and it was because of the half slabs so there you go all right uh, what else oh I need to go get those guys inside before I go to sleep so 
Um, like I said before, this we're already coming up to daytime, so I need to hurry. Um, yeah, there is a village right there, too. Huh. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Are you still mad? You're not mad, are you? Yes, I suppose the weather is nice today. Okay, good. You like me again. Yay, you like me. How exciting. Alright. So everybody come in here. Where it's safe. Okay. Come on. How the hell did you get in? Oh, you teleported. Okay. So we're going to set your home here. This will make this person spawn here. Or teleport here at night. We will set your home there. And we will have you move freely so they don't follow me anymore. And the guard, we're going to actually have her set home here. Which she won't really... She'll... she'll port here at night and then immediately leave to go do guard duty and then she'll go do her guard duties so oh man we're we're moving pretty good pretty good um let's see what else can we do before our day actually becomes hell um we need a shovel yeah we need a shovel and then from the shovel we'll clean out an area I need to block off this door I can see that right now uh, we'll clean off this area so nothing can jump on us and we can start doing our farming um, somehow uh, so what's the plans for the off-camera deal well off-camera I plan on doing getting the mining set up um, in this particular mod the uh, pack set up they make it the monsters make it very difficult to go mining um, so you kinda wanna make sure you got yourself a good set of armor iron armor before you hit that level 11 or level 7 um, so we're gonna be looking at that off-camera we're also gonna probably be doing a lot of planting um, just a lot of a lot of tedial work that needs to be done, uh, not on camera. I don't think that would, I don't think that 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 helps out too much. Uh, and I know some people will be like, oh, but you know, it's it's a let's play. You're supposed to show us everything, and yes, I am supposed to show you everything, but I don't think I want to show you the boring stuff. You know, like like getting these idiots to understand that they're not allowed. Okay, let's try this again. Follow me. Follow me because I'm about to turn on hell. And you don't want to be out here when hell starts. Come on. You idiots. Alright, that should be enough to jump across. Alright, let's get him back in here. Teleport. Is this everybody? Yep, this is everybody. Where are you going? Come back here. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back here. Okay. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Okay, everybody's secure. Everybody's safe. All right, we're just going to block in this door. Alright. And move freely. And you can move freely. And now you can move freely. And the reason why I'm having them stay in this general area is because I don't want monsters basically killing them. So, yeah... That's going to pretty much wrap up this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. I'll probably do another video here shortly of uh, getting things done. I'm also probably going to be working on getting a campfire going, getting that organized. I'm also probably going to try to stop the dog from walking in the background. She is very senile, and um, she does this around this time where she just walks back and forth. I'll try to put her on a leash, maybe slow her down a little bit. But, uh, guys, and oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let's do this before I... There we go. And we should start seeing spawnage. Yep, there they are. Already started. Trees are over there too. Great. Great. And we got one guard, so that's a good thing. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, as always, we do this for fun, not for profit. You're getting this lovely entertainment for free. Please be aware that I do my own recording, my editing. <clears throat> And everything else so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get all this done and uh, you know 
with this mod pack so if something seemed a little too easy it's probably because I had to dumb it down uh, because of the time frame it takes to get things done so until then guys I'll catch you later bye bye